Hey everyone, Leah here. So today I'm really, really excited to do another annual roundup of my favorite sunscreens. I think sunscreen is definitely one product category that I get really excited about to see new innovations, new sunscreen formulation technology. And yeah, I'm really, really happy to have found some amazing sunscreens of this year to share with you all. I have six sunscreens in total and four of them are from the States, two are from South Korea, and I think most of them are released this year. So let's dive right into it. The very first sunscreen that I highly recommend is Peter Thomas Roth Water Drenched Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Hyaluronic Cloud Moisturizer. And this is the very first product I tried from this brand, but the experience was so pleasant that it makes me intrigued to try the entire water drench range. It does have that liquid cloud airy, fluffy, creamy texture that just absorbs into the skin so seamlessly and it has a very watery texture that provides instant hydration and in fact it does have a high concentration of hyaluronic acid complex to boost that hydration and also it does have a blend of ceramides to protect and repair your skin barrier as well. It is a chemical sunscreen which I was actually pretty surprised by because this product does not sting my eyes or it doesn't sensitize or irritate my skin. A lot of the American chemical sunscreen my skin cannot handle or my eyes cannot handle but this product sits on my skin really really comfortably I know the price tag is a little bit steep but it is a sunscreen that really encourages people to apply more sunscreen because of the pleasant experience it's not greasy at all no white cast it doesn't contain any fragrance so I think it would be a really fabulous option that would suit every skin type to be honest next product is from drugstores this is bliss block star invisible daily sunscreen spf 30 this is a hundred percent mineral sunscreen that uses a blend of titanium dioxide and zinc oxide and this product is a tinted sunscreen which is something that i love and i gravitate towards when it comes to choosing a mineral sunscreen because adding a tint or pigment to a mineral sunscreen can significantly reduce the white cast so i love tinted mineral sunscreens i think one of my favorites is super good matte screen which does have a very airy like air whipped texture this product is similar to that it is also a dimethicone or silicone based product and a formula that just glides into your skin so easily but i would say this product is more emollient and a little bit more moisturizing than the super good one the slight tint does even out my entire complexion um, but it doesn't hide all the redness so it's not something that you should worry about if you are someone who doesn't wear makeup or doesn't want that foundation effect this has a very 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 subtle correction so nothing to be too scared about but it does sit so well underneath your makeup um, the only drawback of this product is probably the lavender oil something that I get a little bit sensitized whenever I do have a retinal night on the night prior and it does kind of tingle my skin for a slight bit but the slight irritation does go away pretty quickly so i didn't see it to be too problematic but for those who are allergic to it definitely something to be aware about okay so if you're not a fan of tinted sunscreens i do have a really great untinted mineral sunscreen option for you guys that i recently found from sephora this is dr dennis growth all physical lightweight wrinkle defense spf 30. i went to sephora on a very specific mission to find a mineral sunscreen that i want to share with you guys for this video and among all of the new mineral sunscreens out there that i tried in sephora this is the only one that i picked up and came home with it's amazing i know the price point is a sephora price point but it's still a little bit cheaper than the peter thomas roth and the murat sunscreen Screen that is very very similar to this product it is also a silicone based formula so it has dimethicone in it it's a great makeup base makeup primer it does have a pretty runny fluidy lightweight texture and when you do blend it in it does blend in so seamlessly without giving a streak i mean it does give you a white cast a little bit that's natural with zinc based sunscreens but this probably has the least white cast from all the mineral white sunscreens this is a fragrance free formula this also offers a great range of antioxidants in it including the bear berry extract sea buckthorn ferulic acid i love having antioxidants in my sunscreen as well it kind of helps prevent the lipid peroxidation and also does help your skin to you know fight 
against the environmental stressors. So definitely a really great choice from Sephora. The next product is another mineral sunscreen that is not tinted. This is 11 by Venus Williams, a world-class tennis player who I really, really love and greatly admire. She has a sunscreen called Unrivaled Sun Serum SPF 35. This is a mineral sunscreen based on 25% zinc oxide, but it is completely sheer. And this is one product that I was resisting to try for the longest time because I know how unkind the price tag is for one fluid ounces. It is $50. So I was resisting to try it, but uh, the brand has sent me. So thank you so much. And the product is beautiful. And because it is developed by Venus Williams, it does have no white cast and it blends in so seamlessly. But overall, the texture itself is the sheerest and the runniest mineral sunscreen that I have seen. If you're not a fan of dimethicone-based products, like silicone-based products, this could be a really great alternative. The only con about this product is definitely the packaging. I really do not like the dropper form. It doesn't pick up the product that well. It's really messy on my palm and my fingers. It's so hard to transfer it on my skin, but I I kind of get why they had to package it in a dropper form because it is a very serum fluid like texture but if you can afford it definitely a really great game-changing mineral sunscreen moving on to korean sunscreens this is from iliun mild easy wash sun cream spf 50 plus pa4 pluses and iliun is a brand that i love and adore they make some really really great hypoallergenic mild gentle formula that anyone can use like for all generations to be honest so it kind of reminds me of like a Cetaphil but a much more sophisticated version in Korea. If you do have skin sensitivity, Iliun is a really really solid brand to go for and Iliun is a part of Amore Pacific. So the product, this is a chemical sunscreen but it uses a mix of hemosylate like an old UV filter with some newer filters and I love how gentle and how non-irritating this product is on my face. It's great for my body it comes in a very generous size for a really really great price the focus of the product development of this is to make sure that it's easily removable with just a water-based cleanser because a lot of the sunscreens can be a little bit too adherent to the skin sometimes it might be a little bit hard to remove unless you use a dedicated or a makeup cleansing oil cleansing balm but this product can get easily removed and cleansed away with using a water-based cleanser. So this has been my go-to body and facial sunscreen as well. It feels so hydrating. It is a oil and water formula, so that's why it's so easily, I guess, rinsable but that's probably why I wouldn't take this to the beach or in water sports but it's a really great like day-to-day, -day, everyday sunscreen that you can wear from head to toe. I have saved the best for the last or the most innovative sunscreen for the last. This is from AHC Safe On Light Sun Serum SPF 50 Plus PA4 Pluses. This is also a 2021 release that is made in collaboration with Park Seri, another a golf player that's really popular in Korea. This definitely blew my mind because it comes in a very clear and sheer formula and it has like little tiny capsules in it and I was like what is this and it turns out it encapsulated all the chemical UV filters so it's probably much more stable than any other chemical sunscreen formulas out there because with chemical UV filters the drawback is that it can easily degrade in the bottle so you definitely want to make sure that you use it as quickly as possible with chemical sunscreens after after opening the bottle but because the chemical sunscreens are capsulated in this little capsule that gets easily broken into as you spread it um, I can only imagine that this would be a very stable sunscreen that could live on the shelf for a long time yeah so it's such a unique formula I think AHC is definitely one brand that wants to jam pack all the ingredients so if you do have like extremely sensitive skin that sensitize or allergic to like literally every active ingredient AHC is definitely not the brand but what's notable is that they have blended like arbutin ascorbic acid glutathione um, tranexamic acid to kind of help fade the sunspots or the photo damage as well so it has like a lot of clinicals done on this and 
it is only $26 for all the things that are here and for the innovation that's inside this bottle so I was like amazed by it I just feel like this product is such a unique formula that everyone would definitely love because it is just like a hyaluronic acid serum that blends in so easily it's a great summer product because it has a gel formula so highly recommend I am definitely impressed so that was it for this year's annual roundup of my favorite sunscreens. I hope you guys enjoyed it and definitely check out my past sunscreen videos. I would still highly recommend them. It's just that I'm surrounded with so many newly opened sunscreen bottles that I want to make sure that I go through it as quickly as possible. And it's a really good practice to have like once you do open your sunscreen, make sure that you use it up quickly and don't apply expired sunscreens because it lost its sun protective property. Sunscreen is one product category that you don't want to buy backups. You want to make sure that the new sunscreens that you're using is as fresh as possible and especially if it is a chemical sunscreen. So I hope this helped and let me know what your favorite sunscreen is that you're applying at the moment. As always, the best sunscreen is the one that you want to apply. And yeah, take care. Bye.